Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Conversational Gems. Today we have with us Ajin, product manager from Zogo Sales and Cube. Hello Ajin. Hello Kiri. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you here. So you have been with Sales IQ for some time now. Tell us a bit about your experience. Yeah. So far it's been a great experience overall I'd say. And uh, firstly as a product manager to work in a product like Sales IQ, Sales IQ um you have a lot of freedom um whether it can be a process you're going to implement or the feature you're going to build for the betterment of the product you will you will be having a lot of freedom then you have a excellent colleagues to work with which is very vital for a collaborative work working culture and sales iq as a product is one of the best in the market in the field of customer engagement platform that's really great you know uh, getting to hear your experience in a team like sales iq so what is product management to you or how would you describe product management in a single line so yeah to describe product management in a single line i would say product management is all about maneuvering or steering a product from ideation that is the initial requirement phase to the market success um, by aligning customer needs or customer requir- requirements with your business goals or your product's vision so this is product management to me what's the biggest challenge you think product managers face when using ai in product development yeah as you all know in the recent years ai has created a lot of buzz right yeah yeah um, um the main problem is deciding where to use ai yeah. in your product that is going to positively impact the growth of your product right. um but the challenge here is um each and every one wants to work on ai every, every product want to uh, use yes. mm. or do something or anything with it right yes. this has become so fancy uh, so they they all want to jump into the ship and mm. they want to use ai in their mm. product right yes the biggest challenge a pm could face is the data quality actually because throughout the product life cycle we need to ensure that the data fed to the ai models uh, should be constantly reviewed and refined uh to be able to uh, keep up with the market trend right that is the biggest challenge i would say um so you get a lot of feedbacks from customers and how do you track and analyze these customer feedbacks in product management are there any tools for this zoho runs on zoho right we all know that right yeah yeah so we do have applications for project management and for internal collaboration so for any feedback we get get from customers it gets tracked in zoho projects mm-hmm. so if at all there is any discussion that is to be done with the internal stakeholders for mm-hmm. example with the developers mm-hmm. or in the internal teams we will communicate that via zoho click our very own internal communication too so final question any particular lesson in product management that you would like to share with us yeah there are quite a few actually but i would like to highlight two important things that i will learn firstly prioritize one feature at a time right. um, multitasking is all good right but if you prioritize one at a time you will it is very handy in delivering a quality feature secondly you should be clear on what not to build and when to say no right so as a product manager on a daily basis you will get a lot of uh, feature requests from customers and also ideas from your internal teams right so you should be in a position to uh, when to say no and what not to be d- built because mm-hmm. if at all the ideas or a feature request is not aligning with your long term vision of your product mm-hmm. you are not going to build it right right so you should be uh, ready to say no right. very often thank you so much ajin for sharing your experience in product management with zoho sales iq it was great having you here thank you for having me kelly yes Okay and the next time see you all again